today is a new little trip to the other side of the lake to Svalkiet Hot Springs and it just so happens that I inspired uh, my father by the last video I did well and plus conversation we've been having for like past half a year or so coming, me coming back from US trip and getting a rig upgraded and all that stuff so he wanted to join and his buddy is also gonna join us and I uh, got some uh, old school uh, rock music uh, playlist done so uh, you know uh, it's gonna entertain the older guys uh, should be fun so guys uh, ready for some adventure i hope that our adventure today will be moderate everything but should be uh, gradual gradual uh, uh, so gradually get stuck gradually uh, help the car get unstuck you know slow pace i mean be rough but at a slower pace <laughs> This bigger truck right here. Yeah, big boy. All right, got ourselves some beers. Mr. Victor came over with beers prepared in the cooler. Where is the cooler? Right here. Remember, check one. Check one. Any any last wishes? I hope the landslide will come in early and we will turn back. That's not the reason why we're here. <laughs> so uh, we want the landslide. We want to crawl over it. I just crashed the drone completely. No longer propeller damage. These guys are probably more nervous than me. But I got uh, DJI care, so I'll send it back. And uh, as long as you provide them parts, which is good, everything preserved, uh, just a propeller gun, but no one cares about that. Uh, they will fix it for me, let's see. Only the silver lining, and the silver lining in this particular case was that it crashed into the in, into the tree and fell on the ground, not into the lake. Yeah, thank God, not, not here. Only able to Empty spaces. What are we living for? Abandoned places. Yeah, the gimbal is intact. We know it's unfortunate. It's, it's probably going to take a good on month or so. Well, if I send it right away, this next week. We are so I'm out of drone for a while. This right here, I set it uh, flying over the water Another and did the uh, pump shot, uh, so active track, the, the, the power mode or whatever the hell it's called. And uh, I offset it quite a bit, but because the road is curvy, oh, it probably was flying in parallel and kind of still shifted a little bit to go behind and uh, crashed in, uh, in the trees behind that tree. The next time, if parallel shots must be 
really kind of flying for, for a moment there, half a screen we went blurry. So that's where I kind of started panicking, I started slowing down the car. And after the blur, when it came back, everything was green, it's already down. If the screen wasn't blurred out, I would have been able to react and see what exactly is happening. Show must go on. Show must go on. Yeah. Inside my heart is breaking. My makeup may be flaking, but my smile still stays on. Checking out the car, he's digging it. He wants to buy a van, but I'm telling him, buy Tacoma. Obviously, they don't want uh, my father is buying something in the future, potentially too. So I'm like, don't buy a van for your travels. Just get like Tacoma, something smaller, suburban, anything that you can actually lift like a couple of inches, potentially put uh, decent tires. It doesn't have to be like my car, but at least it's not a van that you can't really take anywhere if you want to. Because once that pension hits, they, I, I'll force them to go places. Okay, yeah, I'm leaning towards Suburban. I don't <laughs> like pickup trucks. Suburban is okay. Or uh, maybe for financial reasons, maybe uh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Good choice, good choice. Then I'll call you a Jeeper. Okay. Go to Kilimanjaro Mountain. Oh, right now, just yet, white person. your appetite will grow in a couple of years. <laughs> Listen, how old are you? How, how experience do you have? Do you know how much, no, not many kilometers, how much I have run all around? I like it. Comfortable car. But this one is okay. I like it. There what you is? go. <laughs> now you want it. <laughs> yeah, even blood seat quite. I like it. Quite a nice car. There you go. I drive for the first time in the road. Lifted version. Because he actually helped me to uh, get it to my home when I got it at the dealership. Uh, because I was scared to... Uh, put, I sat down, it's so big and fat and I was like, oh my god. And uh, we needed to drive like 40 kilometers on highway. I'm like, uh, can you please drive it for me? Um, and then, yeah, it took me a couple of days to kind of get used to the size. Well, now it's obviously even bigger. Everybody who who can see this video, and thank you very much for uh, for watching. path to slow at uh, hot spring we turned off now and this is our first obstacle who are these uh, what, what do they call them uh, uh, chi not chipmunks but uh, groundhog Gr groundhogs uh, poking out <laughs> checking out the fin and probably wanting to turn back right yes. no not, not myself <laughs> no and then uh, we turned back we couldn't make it so yeah and that's on ATVs yeah okay yeah that, that kind of sucks well yeah if, ATV, if ATV can't make it this can't make it that's yeah. for sure is it because of the deep snow yeah the snow yeah how deep deep does it you know get? what right where we stopped it's quite deep it's and then it gets not as deep but with a heavier vehicle I don't know but but did you see tracks still going there by someone mm, maybe quad tracks yeah 
Okay, no. A lot of footsteps, but like we walked a while. And I'll probably check it out and go back. There is a little turnaround no somewhere, far right? Here. No. Not really. Just just back up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where you guys came from, but we're gotta go all the way mission, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you come south or north? South. Uh, it was good conditions, right? No, your truck can't make it. For south? No, it's high, like nuts. Ah. It's plowed up into the bridge, and then the snow this high. We don't even know if we can make it back. Not sure what's happened. Maybe we're gonna go check it out for a bit. Uh, walk 300 meters, just see how <clears throat> deep the snow gets. I guess this guy just arrived and uh, kind of contemplating. I think we're lower than us. to not try to walk 300 meters we're gonna try to go full south still we're probably not gonna make it because this guy said the plow tried to clear the road a little bit more and created a giant hill that is hard to pass well at least we're gonna see for ourselves from what these guys told us at least one place for ourselves we'll see what the situation Conversations here. <laughs> Trump discussions. It's just Canada, it's just like the United States, except that they have free medicine and no guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking of installing by then a second gas tank. Yeah. Like another 100 liters gas tank. It's a trip definitely appreciate. It's really cool. cool. Talking uh, with saw. <laughs> Very narrow. Well, let's see. Let's see. I'm curious now. We're already here anyway. Oh. I see. Holy, yeah. If a plow didn't come through here, that's a very deep snow. I can't put the head the Ah, okay, fine. Look, 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 do you think you can get us over this? Like, oh, so they, they went all the way from... Uh, they they came where we came in. So if you can get them over this, fuck, you made a best friend, buddy. That, there, there's three trucks on the other side of this. What a shame. Obvious, right? Because all of it is stupid, just right? like, yeah. just a little stretch and you can go south all the way. Yeah. Two or three more vehicles over there. Yeah, yeah. No, and he's like, <laughs> I don't want to fucking turn around. Yeah, Too bad guys, you will just like us turn around. Знаете, кому сейчас сдадим? А что, нормально? О, щет. Not afraid to flip over like the guy you told us about. Oh, he made it! He made it! Good job! <laughs> Almost. Ну надо на траншейку было попасть.
got max tracks here. This is gonna do the trick for everyone. And that was gonna save the day. Holy shit. I wanted them for myself and here are you guys. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. The other way. The other way. The other way. The other way. It has to be the other way. And that's how these things work. Yeah. But ideally, yeah, you gotta do it the other way. Or? Oh, the other way? No, because see the other way? No. Right? That's oh. where all the studs are. Okay. okay. There you go. Wow. Nice. You guys should uh, bring those uh, on the back next yeah. time. We should. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Kudos to Max Tracks. Max freaking <laughs> Tracks. Beautiful. We just rescued two, SUV, uh, two ATVs that otherwise would have been stuck and all of us, we couldn't lift those ATVs to put them just, just get them out just to put them on the trail. We just couldn't do it un until these things. Let's go for it again. Max tracks. They're beautiful. They're orange. Look how many beautiful studs each one has. It's the best body on your trail. It's the only thing you need. It's better than view, it's better than sex. Get two of them, ideally get four. Thank you, this guy says uh, ATV is a wooden start. Try to help for about an hour. And, Two hours. Uh, you spend about two hours. Seriously? Two yes. hours? So eventually they dropped their quad one, but uh, the other one we pulled out. Max tracks all the way without max tracks. Nothing there would have been happening at all, period. So we got their quad and whatever they do tomorrow, come back for it, I don't care. We don't care. We helped at least one guy to get out. We are the trampions, my friend. Okay, so uh, поближе сюда подойдите. Сюда еще поближе, поближе. Лицо, чтобы было видно. So what do you think of today's trip, guys? Uh, the best adventure in, my, in our life. British Columbia. Are you serious? This is the best? Absolutely. No, it was actually cool helping those guys. You know, I think it's karma. We helped those guys for like two hours. We got them out at least on one quad. One day it will pay back and someone will help us. But to me, if you ask me, that was a little bit too extreme. Extreme? Uh, oh, for who? For, for them or for us? <laughs> for us too. <laughs> for us it's nothing. I banking, backing up through the tunnel of snow? I, it was fine. The only extreme thing happened for us today is broken drone. I sent, <laughs> I sent in snow all the way uh, up to your balls. balls. Uh, yeah, I feel balls. <laughs> and you've got big balls. So many times completely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so end of broadcast. That's it. We gotta rush home. It's gonna it's late. We're gonna be at home at like one or something, very late, or two o'clock. Uh, yeah. But uh, well, there you go. This is the kind of adventures that happen <laughs> on my trips. <laughs> that's it. He's not buying a jeep anymore. 